revolver with a little broken, like he aims it downward. Coral. Get out there and save Coral. Coral. <laughs> No, his vein. Yeah, his his veins are his veins are not doing great in the shader at the moment. Gah! This is it. This is just really what you need to kind of set forward. Can you shoot at the dinosaur? But we need to have iron sights set up because it's just coming from like the random recoil and a muzzle at the moment. <laughs> Oh god, what a treat. God, there's something so uncomfortable about, like, just being at this level. Mmm. Mmm. I don't like it. Like, if I spawned on a beach in this, I would just kind of be like, nah, I'm good. I don't want to go in there. Just at all. Good lord. That looks like pain. Crouch animation on the other side of these bushes and you literally cannot see him. Like 100% you cannot see him. It just does it they're they're invisible. They're they're horrifying. The actual graphics. I think he still fits. So. He's definitely a little monster. Yeah. All right, let's see. It's it closer than the other one. Yes, it's closer than the other one. And even so, he's not set up properly. It doesn't work. Like, the, the arms and stuff, you see, they're just a little shattered. So it's not, it's not like that. You know, the Maya is just existing for its uh, assets. Uh, I can tell you that as it stands currently, there is definitely, other than the Triceratops, another predatory apex in the next update of assets in development. The next DNA list you see will have something that can, that can tussle the Tyrannosaur, that can go around and throw its weight and be like, Hey buddy, what the fuck are you doing over here? So there is that. Look at him, he's just a little guy. Let's see. Let me check something here. I want to make sure he's not busted, but he's probably busted. Straight into the sky it takes up half your stamina. That's not really a loss. That's kind of a, a desired and intentional thing, so... Hmm. Not sure what that was supposed to do. <laughs> Let's do this. Yeah, the Pteranodon has incredible range when you actually manage uh, gliding. Instead of just going, I have to go everywhere as fast as possible. Let me hold my shift key. Yeah. 
which is, you know, in of itself funny and telling. Golly, how can I get in the air without burning all of my stamina? Just do a normal takeoff, bud. Just do a normal takeoff. No, thermals, thermals need an actual, uh, a finalized effect. It'll be something that um, I have intended only for pteranodons and other things. There's no need for uh, things like a, uh, you know, a ground-based animal to see things like this. There's no value in it, so they never will. I have, I have no intention, of, at least, of making thermals something that a bunch of, you know, bunch of people that can't see anything or, or gain anything from it see it's just just kind of weird well golly we're so high so high up what do we do now You get climbing done. Okay, cool. Other dinosaurs can climb. This general functionality is finished. Ooh, what do you got for humans that do stuff like this? There's not. And we do not have any blueprints to pull from. I can't just go, hey, what dinosaur game has done this thing and done it well? Because the answer is non-existent. There are very few dinosaur games you can even look at to pull even the slightest bit of inspiration from because they just aren't great like the dinosaur the dinosaur category inside of games is grossly underrepresented grossly lacking content you know Hold on. I just need a faster way to do this. I don't have time. There we go. There we go. Ugh. Reduced growth rate. And slower resource drains? Mm, reduced growth rate, maybe, but I probably wouldn't do slower resource drains. And then there's all the little things that you have to do with it, right? So if we, uh, let me just let me get over here. Let me just cheat my way down. That'll work. So these are like the small things, like all the, the millions of little things that go wrong when you add something, and it's just, ugh. All right, so he looks up, and when your dinosaur looks up, obviously your head turns up. But in the case of this, when you need to look up in order to travel, now our Herrerasaurus looks directly backwards, so you have to fix the small things like that. Like, oh, the stuff that normally works on animals, like, oh, you've introduced something new, it's going to break a lot of things. You have to have this permanent state alteration of how your dinosaur looks around now. But on the bright side, we get to, we get to do it once and then it's finished. Actually, you know what? Let me send those to Bruce. We've got one of them prepared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'll see in a second. Hold on. Bruce, you can go release these. Gotcha. Judge what's going to happen. Because I'm truthfully not sure if, and I say the average, 
Because don't get me wrong, there is there is very crappy people that are always seeking to play survival games just to ruin the fun of others. It's not exclusive to the aisle. It's just the average human being who wasn't popped in the mouth and told stop being a shitty person. Um, so you're going to get those, but I'm not sure how the average individual is going to handle um, the fact that this is, I think, the only... If, it, if I'm wrong, someone feel free to point out another game that does it, but I don't know of any survival games where you play as humans and something else that might promote humans to globally cooperate in some way, shape, or form. Who knows if humans are just going to murder each other on sight, or they're just going to be like, oh, thank God, another human being. Jesus. Asking people on the internet to cooperate is a tall order, which is actually but, ridiculous. For the sake of example, we'll just... Yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, he doesn't have sounds unless he's running, right? Yeah, he doesn't have anything set up, really. Uh, let me... This is a huge Tyrannosaur, by the way. Like, absolutely huge. Yeah, so if we use this, right, we go here, delete out, uh, F8, F11, let's just poke the big boy through the bushes here. He's even floating a smidgen? Yeah? Alright, sick. Let's play Hide the Tyrannosaur. Where is he? Where is Mr. T-Rex? On the other side of these bushes, five feet away. Clear sky, middle of the day. Where is the Tyrannosaur? So again, I cannot stress this enough to everybody here. What a tactical nightmare. What an absolute tactical nightmare. <laughs> and, and for the sake of argument, because I've always said this about the dinosaurs and their need for third person. With the exception of the trees I just deleted because the T-Rex has debug tree deletion on him. Um, you can see over this. You can very thoroughly see over this. A person cannot. At all. <laughs> like, so... Oh, it's definitely shot placement. Shot placement really matters. So... Yes, night vision goggles are a thing. Um, we have two t two styles planned. Um, the first one, I ah, God, I can't remember the name names of them without the sheet in front of me. 